Have you been to that situation where you know what you have to do, but you do not do? You want to aim big, but you do not want to aim big. You have some career goals, but then you lose hope that you can accomplish those goals. Well, if this is a situation, don't panic. These are the symptoms of stagnancy. This shows that somewhere you are stuck in your career. Now, if this is a situation, let me introduce to you to one of my client. He was in a similar situation. He was around 37 years of age and his experience was 14 to 15 years. And he was stuck. He was not finding any motivation to work. He was getting irritated with small, small things. And he was like feeling enough is enough. He was neither having a fun in marriage and he was like burnt out from all the sides. And he met me up and we started a coaching session. So first two to three sessions, I wanted to see what is the issue. And once we started debugging all the things, starting to knowing his episode, what, how he starts his day, what all he does during the entire day, where he gets excited, where he gets depressed. After doing all this analysis, and I did some, some tests around it based on some tools which I use, what I found was three major issues which he was facing. Number one, he was not having energy to live his life. And because of lack of energy, he was not dedicating beyond two to three hours of work, including office and home. So he was extremely low in production. That was the one thing. Second thing we found now, because energy was low, his ambition towards life has fallen down. So he was not aiming anymore. His belief system has started falling down. So belief system was less. Due to that, his ambition started falling down. And that was again suffocating him and irritating him. Then we went to more layer down. We found why it is like that. What happened? And after finding a lot of, in a lot of sessions, what I found was, he has kept a lot of negative energy in his life. There are a lot of episodes in his life which happened. And he was not able to delete. So his situation was like this. All the episodes are happening in his life. He will take all those episodes. He will forget positive episodes and he will only remember negative episodes. Because of that, what was happening? His processor was stuck with a lot of negative data. Let me give an analogy. Imagine you open your mobile and in the mobile there are 10 apps which are running in background. And you want to run something which is very important for you. That task is not getting the energy and memory space or whatsoever and your mobile is stuck, it is hanged. So what do you do? You restart it. I wish life would not be so simple to restart, but human beings cannot restart so easily. So what I found is 80% of RAM memory is stuck with negative data which has no relevance today. So what do you do now? So I started working with him almost for, it took me three to four months to remove one data at a time. I started increasing awareness of life. See, once people have awareness, I started explaining him the karma theory. That whatever negative episodes have happened in your life. Because his question was, why me? He was like a victim mentality. Why it is happening to me? I am not responsible. Once he started feeling like that, there is no way he can get control of his life. So once his awareness increased in three to four months, he was able to delete 50% of his negative episodes. Now he was feeling much, much fresh and much excited. With this 50% increase in energy, his productivity in office started increasing. Now, where his overall performing two to three hours a day, his performance in home and office started increasing to four to five hours. And not only that much, his energy at home started increasing. Then we started working more to delete more negative episodes. And it took me another two to three months to delete another 40 to 50 percent. By the time six, seven months happened, he started understanding the purpose of life, why he is doing what he is doing. Then we found more in detail, what else can we do to bring his energy to the peak? Then we found the job profile which he was doing. Again, he was stuck in a company for almost eight to nine years and he was not growing anymore. Neither the management was seeing any potential in him, so it was like, just complete your work and go, because that's okay. And he did not want to do that, what to do. Then I found, what are his interests? After finding some details from him, what I found was, he was thinking, growth is company's responsibility. That was the biggest mistake he was doing. He was assuming company has to fund his growth, company has to do everything for him, and that was the biggest mistake. Then he started and said, okay, let's understand what are the latest two or three technologies which you would like to learn, which can help you to grow in your career. And we found two to three technologies which was relevant for him. Then I said, do one thing, take intention responsibility, find a coach, invest in money, do not just rely on YouTube data, you know? it will not help you to get a systematic way of learning. Invest in a coach, learn something. And he started learning some technology. In nine months, following outcome came. First, his stress in life reduced drastically because his awareness towards life improved and he started forgiving people. Once the forgiveness come, now what I'm saying it is, trust on me, if you try doing it alone, it will be very difficult because it is not easy. What I'm saying is looking very easy, but when you start doing it, it will take you to delete one, one episode, it may take you two to three coaching sessions. That's what I did. It was a very gigantic work which I did to remove him from the stress. Then 
Once the stress was removed, he started improving on certain things. His job performance improved. Then we started working on how to imp start learning some new technology. From there, I gave him another mission. Either you find some opportunity in an existing company, or if your credibility has fallen down in this organization and there's no more scope for you, find a new job. Start fresh in life. And that's what he did. Then we started looking for job interviews and all. And he gave almost like 10 interviews. Finally, a couple of interviews he cracked. And he got a job profile, which he was interested in. And he started going. Simple. It's like a, it took him around one year. Now, let me ask you the same question to you. What are you going to do if you're stuck in your life? Are you going to stay where you are? Or are you going to take initiative to fix the problem? If you want to take initiative, drop me a message. You are not alone. This is not a unique problem. A lot of people after 10 to 12 years of experience face this issue, situation. So, don't suffocate alone. Take help. Drop me a message. Let's have a virtual coffee. My experience can help you to grow in your career. It was great talking to you. I'll meet you up in my next video.